Back in the 1930s, during the Great Depression, confidence in the national economy was so low and people's ability to earn cash so limited that thousands of communities created their own currencies to try to help with local commerce. Well, with today's recession, it's happening again. You're looking at some Detroit Cheers bills printed by businesses there. Earlier this week on Studio B, I talked to a restaurant owner in, D in Detroit about why he's using the currency. I think in some senses it's, it's some defiance. And it's some uh, questions about uh, how far we let government go to uh, control everything. And, and at what point in time uh, are we going to take the reins ourselves? And take a look here. There are more cities and towns across the country where some people are now using their own currencies, all of them working to take their local economies into their own hands. It looks like monopoly money, but this colorful currency is legal tender in the western Massachusetts town of Great Barrington. They're called Berkshires, a play in the mountainous region in the northeast called the Berkshires, where businesses and citizens have come together to support each other in these tough economic times. Local currency helps to keep the money flowing between friends and neighbors, local businesses, which helps everybody to have a better life. The currency even has its own exchange rate. 95 cents buys one Berkshire, equal to a dollar, the value of which can be redeemed at participating shops and businesses. We begin to feel that we can take care of ourselves maybe a little bit better. Maybe it, it does bind us a little more closely. And it's not a new phenomenon. Local communities printed their own currency during past recessions, as recently as the 80s. I think it brings out the community spirit that's probably in everybody's subconscious. I think, you know, there's some people, there is a guilt factor about leaving your local merchant and getting on the interstate and going to a, a, a big box store that you have no affiliate, no affection for. And it's by no means an attempt to dodge the IRS. The income is taxable, the currency legal. Thus far, the program is a success, with 2.3 million Berkshires issued since the program launched in 2006. I just think it's nice to have a constant little reminder that we're a community and that we're in it together. In Great Barrington, Massachusetts, Molly Line, Fox News.